one in five young people struggle with their mental health. You know, and those numbers are only getting bigger, whether it is social media or friendships or technology, or whatever, whatever the causes are, the fact of the matter is happening. And, and we need to do something about it, just to sit by and uh, you know, pretend it's not happening is, 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 is ridiculous. We need to, to try and do things. And you know, we, we, there's no harm in trying and, and do, doing different things and hopefully it pays off in the long term. It's kind of been a bonding experience in a way, like Tuesday and Thursday mornings we did egg and bacon rolls and then pancakes and hot milo and everyone could just come together and you know have a chat before class started and yeah, get yeah, to talk to people. Absolutely agree, I think the vibe at the school in this week is just completely different. There becomes this kind of equality between staff and students and it's a much more family yeah. feeling about the school and, and we we get to see our kids in a different light and I think they get to see us in a different light, which is really nice. Yeah, there's definitely been an improvement with the students. I noticed that a lot of them are getting around their mates now. So a lot of them are asking, oh, are you okay? If you, if you need anything, I'm here for you. Because they're starting to realise, wait, not everybody's okay. And they're just getting around their mates more. I am seeing a difference because young people are much more aware now, especially from last year to this year, about looking after themselves. So that's really important and I think they've got more skills and strategies. So the kind of organisations that we're partnering with, they're not changing, we're actually getting a, like a richer partnership with, um, uh, with those groups, those teams, those organisations. And I think that awareness about their own self-care, but also what I've seen is a significant increase in the student-to-student -student care. So students who are worried about another student will immediately talk to them and then say, we need to seek help for, for you. That's probably the major difference, and that's a, that's a tangible difference of improving um, well-being so that then when there are symptoms of mental health deteriorating the community can address them earlier. Well I suppose there's been a number of different initiatives we've included this year you know we've gone uh, bigger and, and better where we have. Probably probably the most important one is actually having every year eight student actually go and, and undertake teen mental health first aid which I think is a really critical thing, step for the college moving forward and hopefully something we can do um, every year so that over time all of our students are actually trained in mental health first aid uh, for teenagers. I think that's critically important. And I've also seen amongst the staff um, body uh, a lot more interaction amongst the staff, checking in on each other, looking out for one another. It's really important, you know, we have a very challenging job that we have responsible for many young people. We need to be well ourselves in order to be able to do that um, effectively. So to everyone at Dominic College, I just want to say thank you very much for everything. Uh, this week means a lot to me. I'm very, very grateful for everything you've done. To Miss Gilligan and Mr Casney, thank you for everything. Uh, you've took the idea that I've had and allow the school to have it and it's very very special to me and to Mr Pritchard, Mrs McGee, Mrs Davey, the whole pastoral care team thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for taking this week and, and just making it as incredible as you have uh, and to all the student leaders you've done an incredible job and you've made me very very proud of you all and to the great man Mr Davey thank you for everything I can't explain in words what you've done for me over these years and what you still do for me to this day Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and I love you all at Dominic College and I'll be back soon. Thank you. Um, it's, it also looks like it's made to camouflage like a, like a clock. It's so clear working with the students that we did today that they're so passionate about how they can support one another. They're passionate about um, opening up conversations, um, supporting each other online, offline and yeah, being able to work together, which is really fantastic. Sometimes students can be sceptical, not knowing what it's going to be. And, mm. But by the end, they're on board and maybe empowered to continue the conversation. Like, our workshop doesn't really finish. Mm. It, it ends and continues outside. And so hopefully, they leave empowered to continue that talk. A lot of our programs really focus on breaking down barriers and kind of getting people to not necessarily open up but to recognise what's going on and to look at themselves and what they're doing. So a lot of the time when we come out of a program we end up with grades who are a lot closer together, they feel a lot more connected and they feel 
kind of less alone as individuals within the grade. And they feel they've got that shared identity of, you know, we're all in this together. We've all got our own issues and that's normal and okay and healthy and we can work together on that. I think the, the real goal is that we, we start to see these things happen, not just on a week, but all the time. Our students know, okay, this is how it goes. What can I do now to get involved? And starting to see, I guess, the bigger school community impacting what happens in the week and having a say about what they want in the week rather than us delivering it. It becomes a whole school kind of initiative would be nice. I think it's hard. I don't know whether you know day to day whether it really makes that difference but you know if one person one person helps one mate then I think it's paid off but I believe that you know our young people are empathetic and they do care about their friends and uh, yeah I think that I think it pays off. Well it definitely has impacted everybody. As I said before about everybody getting around each other but now people are actually getting more knowledge about what's actually happening in the world. And so that correlates to families as well. And their little siblings and parents, and then the parents are starting to realise, oh, my kid probably isn't okay, I might ask him a bit more. Being a Salesian school, uh, Don Bosco would be very proud of us this week, is really in that Salesian spirit. So it's been wonderful seeing that. Um, and then this year, because we've expanded it to a year three to 10 program, uh, it's been nice seeing various activities on both, uh, both parts of the campus. So the more awareness, the more education, the more skills that we can give um, our students and, and our broader community moving forward, uh, hopefully it'll have a, um, a massive impact on them, you know, not only in school, but later in life. So that's our overall aim. We can keep that education up, that awareness, and giving our student body the skills they need, then hopefully we'll have a long-term ratification. I think into the future, we last year we focused on year 7 to 10, uh, this year we've focused on year 3 to 10 and I think we will have a much more holistic uh, um, approach to, to mental health and I see that also then filtering into our Empower program as well so that the two are much more closely aligned into the future.